Hey, what's going on? We're back. It's Bunny Flocks here. Uh, um, another week, another video. I didn't do one last week. I was too busy. Uh, life, doing life stuff, learning, hacking. Uh, but today, I want to talk about. Um, today, I'm going to give you guys three reasons why you, if you're teeter tottering on cybersecurity, or or uh, starting an IT career, or getting an IT, or getting in, in cyber. Why you need to do that this year, 2019, is definitely the year for you to do that. But before I jump into that, I want to quick, give a quick, uh, or do a quick uh, giveaway. You know, I told some of you guys that were uh, commenting on my videos that I'm going to be doing a giveaway soon. This is that. This book's called A Tribe of Hackers. It's a great book. Uh, it has 70 cybersecurity folks in there giving advice, answering questions about cybersecurity, uh, how they got in, uh, how they're, what they're doing with their careers, how they're progressing, uh, what they learn. And it's definitely a dope, dope read. I'm halfway through, learned a lot so much, even followed some of these, uh, some of the, some of the people here, you know, definitely want to follow these guys on Twitter, follow their careers, go to their websites, uh, and learn from them. So I'm giving this book away to, someone for free if you comment on this video share this video and comment hashtag tribe of hackers I will give this away I'll pick one random person obviously I can't check to see if you shared it so we're gonna work on the honor system here um, so hopefully if you subscribe just share and then put in the hashtag tribe of hackers I will send you this book for free um, and again, this video, this giveaway is is for people new to the industry, whether you're, you're brand new to cyber or you're thinking about getting in. This is more so geared towards those who don't have years and are not, you know, haven't been in IT or cyber for, for five or so years. You don't have a career already. This is for those that just want to get into it and are very curious. This book is a huge I think it's a great introduction to all of that stuff that we talk about. So got that out the way. Remember, comment, share, subscribe, like, and I'll pick someone for the book. All right, so we're talking about the three reasons why you need to jump into cybersecurity this year, 2019. Whether you're you're anxious or not anxious, hesitant, teeter-tottering, you don't know if you want to do it or not. You don't, you know, you're out of high school, or you're in college, or you're trying to, you know, pick your, your career. Um, three reasons why 2019 should be cybersecurity for you. Um, reason number one is the growth in the industry. Um, this is news. Everyone knows this. You can Google blah, 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 blah. You can Google this anywhere. Cybersecurity is one of the gro most growing exponentially industries, and it has been for some time been projected as it's going to, in 2021 it's going to be 3.5 million unfulfilled cyber positions that means 3.5 million jobs for cyber that employers and companies can't fill um, so there's that you know uh, in this year for 2019 some of the statistics were saying there's currently 2 million unfulfilled cybersecurity jobs so that's just in this year 2019 so um, the growth in that industry is huge, um, and when I mean growth, I mean unfulfilled jobs. You know the, the 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 need for the cyber folks, and then the spending. Employers are spending so much money. Companies are spending so much money on cyber. Uh, they're they're throwing budget budgets at equipment, on devices, on people. So it's definitely a huge growing industry, and it's projected to remain so for the foreseeable future. Um, so there's reason number one, the growth of cybersecurity is ridiculous. Reason number two, which kind of stems from the growth, is job security. Now with 3.5 million or 2 million jobs this year unfulfilled, what does that say for those people that are employed in cybersecurity? You have job security. You know, since I've been in IT, um, specifically cyber, I, I haven't had any issues finding a job. Um, you know, given to my credentials and experience, I can, as I mentioned, you know, in earlier videos, I can apply almost anywhere and at the very least get an interview for the simple fact 
that there are so many open positions and companies need to fill these spots. So with that, if you can get a job in cyber, you know, if you watch my other video, how to break into cyber, or, you know, you found your way in, um, once you get employed, as long as you don't do anything funny, you know, you're good to go as far as job security. Companies will do almost anything to keep you. Um, most of the time, they'll do anything to make you happy. Your, your salary is very negotiable. Um, depending on your company, your state, where you live, you know, things like that. Um, it does get a little crazy sometimes uh, initially trying to, to get your first cybersecurity job because a lot of employers, uh, they'll leave a, a position open for months, even years, looking for the, the perfect candidate, you know, somebody with all these certs and all these degrees and all this experience. Um, and, and that can be a little hurtful and it hurts the industry but it just goes to show how employees can put so much weight on experience and all these accolades and you know credentials uh, for the simple fact that I feel like a lot of them don't want to feel like they're wasting time or they don't want to hire somebody who isn't experienced or isn't knowledgeable in the field so and 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 that, and that also tends to add to the the growth factor well not the growth factor but the vacancy factor, you know, so many companies are, are prejudiced or discriminatory against inexperience and lack of certs or lack of degrees that the reason that there are so many jobs available is because they just won't hire someone who's willing to learn or who who's showing, you know, promise in the interview. They just won't hire people. They just, they want those people with the certs and the accolades and the credentials. So as if you watch my previous videos, I said the quick answer to that is just get certified, get degreed up, um, do what you can to come halfway, you know, show the employers that, uh, you know, even if you're, you're lacking in experience, you have a certification or you have an associate's or a bachelor's degree, meet them halfway. I'm telling you, they are hiring for these positions because there's so many available. And, a, and another perspective when it comes to job security, yeah, for people in cyber workforce like myself, I have great job security, but it also hurts me because um, of employers' reluctance to hire. I'm usually, and, and I can attest to this myself, I'm usually doing the work of two or three people, and I'm sure there's other cyber, cyber folks out there that can agree to that. There's teams of two, that should be teams of five or six, and it's just a symptom of the fact that there's so many open positions and they just won't, they can't find individuals to, to staff or they won't staff inexperienced. Um, so there's a good and bad with the job security. Your job security is good if you're in it, your job is secure, as long as you don't do any crazy stuff, you're good to go. But on the other side, you're probably doing more work. You're doing the work of two or three people, which again, is also good for job security. Um, but you know, it is what it is. There's job security, that's reason number two. Reason number three, and then there's the salaries. You know, mostly everyone knows if you're in cybersecurity, you are on the higher spectrum of salary range. Um, Zip according to ZipRecruiter, the national average for cybersecurity jobs today is ninety-six thousand. Um, that's not taking into effect, or that's not taking into account the different types of security jobs. There's there's different types that average differently, um, but cybersecurity in general for the nation today is about ninety-six thousand which uh, is, is pretty decent depending on where you live or what's going on. But again, salaries, a high salary comes with experience, comes with accolades, comes with degrees and certs. Um, you can really climb the salary ladder pretty quickly. Um, it definitely pays well. And again, if you, if you match higher salary with job security and growth, those are my three reasons why you should definitely get into cybersecurity this year. Uh, if you've been, you know, hesitant, start a course, start a tuition, start college, go get your A plus network security plus um, start this year because, you know, that time is going to pass regardless. Let's say it takes you to, it's supposed to take you two to three years for a degree or whatever. If you start today by 2021, uh, you'll be filling one of these 3.5 million, you know, unfilled positions. So um, and if you don't do anything, that time is going to pass anyway. 2021 is going to be here. Three years is going to pass regardless. So. Um, that's my three, three reasons why you should get into cybersecurity. Start today. Um, again, 
I'm giving a book away, Tribe of Hackers. Hashtag Tribe of Hackers. Comment, ask questions, like, share, subscribe, and I'll pick somebody on the next video I do uh, next week. And uh, I'll give I'll give this book away to somebody. So appreciate you guys' time. Um, keep liking, sharing, subscribing, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks.